Well, I'm back with another unboxing, this time of this, the Razer Basilisk V3 Pro. Kind of excited about this, I've never had a wireless mouse before and I think it might be a little more convenient because this one, the wire kind of gets stuck in places and it's also RGB, which is pretty cool. Unlimited control and customization, 10 plus one programmable buttons. Razer Optical Mouse Switches Gen 3, unrivaled durability and speed. Razer Focus Pro 30K Optical Sensor, best in class precision. And versatile connectivity and power, Bluetooth Type-C charging and compatible with QI chargers. Says it's also compatible with the Razer Mouse Dock Pro and Razer Wireless Charging Pack for wireless charging sold separately. All right, right here it says what's inside the box. You get the Razer Basilisk V3 Pro, which I would hope so. Type A to Type C Speed Flex Cable, USB dongle adapter, plus wireless USB dongle. And right here it says what's needed. Type A port or Bluetooth 5.0 connectivity. And right here's the Synapse requirements. Windows 10, 64 bits or higher. Internet connection or software installation. Hyperspeed 2.4 gigahertz, multi-device, USB wired or Bluetooth 5.0. Well, that was a whole lot of words in a row, so if you uh, stuck around through all that, thanks. But now, I think it's time to open this turkey. Looks like it just has plastic you peel. Oh, that doesn't come off as easy as I thought it was gonna. It's really on there. Ugh. I think it is openable. Oh, wow. I don't know what I was expecting. It's just the mouse. That's kind of fun. Let me do that again. Oh, let's pull this thing out. Okay, so there's stuff under this. That feels good. The sides here are real grippy. I've never had a mouse either that you can rest your thumb on. That'll be new. Oh, that feels good. That feel it already feels better than my old mouse. My old mouse, the wheel is kind of stiff and very awkward. Oh, this does click to the side. Clicks down, left, right. That's pretty cool. All right, let's put that down. Let's see what's in here still. It's kind of hefty, just like me. I guess you pull the tab. Oh boy, okay. What is this? Oh. 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 Huh? This is dongle. And, and this is the dongle insertion device. If you don't have an available slot for this, you can put this in here and you could probably plug that into a USB-C. I think it's just an adapter, basically. All right, let's see what's in this box here. Okay, here's the wire. Wait, can I use this also wired if I wanted to? Yeah, it plugs in right in the front, so you could probably always use this wired too if you really didn't want to worry about your uh, batteries dying. Or am I just really stupid and it charges? Do you not have to put batteries in this? Does it charge? We're gonna find out. Oh, there's more, uh, more stuff in here. What is this? Oh, the instructions. Might need those. Oh, look at that. Stickers. For gamers, by gamers. What do we get here in the box? The cable? I like this cable. It's very soft. Like, my old mouse's cable is very stiff, and it gets stuck on things all the time. This is actually so soft, it probably wouldn't even matter if you left it plugged in if that's something you can do. Okay, so maybe I should uh, read about what I'm supposed to do here. Tells you what all the buttons are. I just need to know how to set it up. This is the oddest thing. It's like silver on black. It's kind of cool, but kind of kind of awkward too. For best results, please fully charge the mouse before using it for the first time. Install Razer Synapse when prompted or download the installer. Well, I guess I gotta go charge this. I'll be back. Okay, so I just plugged this thing in the charge and that it's already pretty cool. I like that. And it's just slowly changing color. That's pretty neat. So while that's charging, we'll check this out. It says connecting your mouse. A, via wired mode. So there is, a, you can just plug this in and always use it wired if you want to. It does not have to be wireless. I wonder how long this thing's going to take to charge. How do I know when it's charged? Well, actually, if it's, if it's plugged into the computer, I guess I can just use it plugged in. I don't have to wait for it to charge. So let's peel this off. Okay. The profile button is basically, you can save different settings on different profiles. Right here it says off. You switch it up for Bluetooth and down for 2.4 gigahertz. There's a button here. And then you got these two buttons here that a lot of mice have. You have your two buttons here. One of these is probably DPI, I would imagine. The wheel, which also goes left and right. 
You can open this up. Whoops. And you can store the dongle in there. It also looks like there's metal connections in there for something. While this is plugged in, let's see if we can get it set up. Okay, upon insertion, this popped up. It says, congratulations on getting your Razer Basilisk, Bas Basilisk V3 Pro connected. Have fun exploring the following features. Enable smart wheel mode on your scroll wheel, which automatically switches from tactile to free spin mode to speed through content. With up to 10 plus one, wouldn't that just be 11? Programmable buttons, enable Razer Hypershift technology to double the number of customizable buttons for extended control. Maximize your Razer Chroma TM experience across all your peripherals and compatible devices with Enter Device Sync. Neat. Oh boy, what is all of this? Razer Gaming Software, select the software to install. So I guess you can pick what you want. Razer Synapse, which I think that paper said I was supposed to install. Chroma Connect. The Chroma Connect module is the control center for all Chroma-enabled apps and third-party hardware devices. Chroma Studio. Unlock advanced Razer Chroma capabilities with Chroma Studio that allows you to create multiple lighting effects. I think we get it. Chroma Visualizer. The Chroma Visualizer syncs all your Chroma-enabled devices and smart lights with the media you're playing for a fun and immersive listening experience. Set the mood of your room. This is a lot. Set the mood of your room, play music or watching a video, and even have it automatically activate with any of your favorite media applications. I'm not so sure I'll ever actually use this, but it sounds cool and I can probably uninstall it if I don't want it. Alright, what is Razer Cortex? From optimizing your system's full potential to finding the best game prices, get more out of your experience. Razer Axon. Bring your desktop to life with our unique dynamic wallpapers. Explore a wide selection of original designs. Well, that's kind of cool. It's the wallpapers. Razer Virtual Ring Light. Oh, I guess you could have uh, your screen have a bright section on it to act like a ring light. <laughs> that's kind of neat. Streamer companion app. Take your streaming to the next level with customizable lighting on your siren? Siren? Emote? Racken kitty? Compatible chroma gear that react to your stream's activity. THX Spatial Audio is an advanced 7.1 surround sound that transports your- Okay, so that's just for sound. I just kind of wanted to show what all is available here. I'm just going to go with what's here, so let's finally install this thing. By the way, at any time during installation, if you somehow get this to, to exit and like no matter how many times you plug the mouse back in, you can't get this set up to come back, what you can do is just search Razer Synapse. You'll see this Razer Synapse 3 cloud-based hardware configuration tool. You click that, you hit download, and then you hit open, and that will bring back this. Don't ask me why I know that. Congratulations. Please sign in with your Razer ID or create a new Razer ID to get started. So at this point, if you don't have an ID, I guess we gotta make one. All right, so here's where we log in. So let me do all that and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm logged in and everything. If it if it kind of disappears after it tells you to close the browser and nothing happens for a moment, don't worry. This here will eventually pop up. See what's new? Take a quick tour to check out Razer Synapse. Uh, sure. Quick access to all your favorite devices. Complete control. Easily control your profiles and link them to your favorite games. That's pretty neat. Get started. All right. All right, so this is what uh, the app here, the Synapse, looks like. Here's the the Chroma stuff here. Add Wi-Fi device, feedback, register your device, view compatible devices, Razer Store, Razer Support, and Razer Gold and Silver. Here's the device, and it looks like you can get keyboards too. Let's click the device. Razer Hybrid Storage automatically stores your current profile directly to your Razer device. You can also store additional profiles onto onboard memory. Switch between free spin scrolling and tactical cycling mode. That's what this button does here then. That's why, it, can you hear that? It makes a little clicky sound. It kind of vibrates the thing. Does it feel different? Okay, so if you click this, this will like click. It's like a da, 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 da. But if you click it, it just freely spins. And this says with Razer Hypershift, you can assign an additional function to the same button or key without interfering with its default input. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And I did notice, I wasn't sure exactly what this button right here did. So you see how fast the mouse is going here? When I press this button in, it slows down a lot. That might be kind of cool in shooter games if it always works. Looks like there's some scroll wheel settings here. Scroll acceleration. Smart reel. Automatically activate free spin scrolling mode as you quickly flick the scroll wheel. Uh, yeah, perverts. And return to tactile cycling when there's no scroll wheel movement. Hyperspeed multi-device pairing. Okay, you know what? 
I think we kind of get the idea here. And if you get this, I'm sure you'll figure out what all these do. I know there's been a lot of words, a lot going on here to talk about. There's a lot going on with this mouse. <laughs> Probably does so much more than what I showed, but holy crap, I got to fit it in the one video. Okay, I just found this out. This is so cool. My old mouse does not do this. When you click the DPI button, it comes up on your screen and tells you which one it's on. I like that a lot. Also, the cable that this mouse comes with is really pretty long. I'd say that's a good solid 11 wieners length. And it's so nice and just soft. Look at my old one. See how my old mouse has like all these kind of kinks in them. It's very stiff and just kind of is hard to move around with. It's very erect. I really like this one. This one's very flaccid. Another cool thing is there's no bright light just shining off the bottom of this thing when you lift it up. The only light you see is the RGB, which I like that. I really like this mouse. I think it feels pretty good. The only thing you might run into is this button here. Your thumb might kind of bump into that, but it's, it's not that big of a deal, really. It feels good moving it around. The buttons feel pretty good to click. Actually, they sound different, too. The right mouse kind of has a different sound than the left mouse does. So far, I really like this. I, I think it's worth it. I mean, for the price you pay for one of these things, it better be nice. And so far, I think it's pretty good. But I think there's one last thing we can do to test this thing out, and that's maybe to... Let's see quick what it feels like in a game. Let's dongle and put that somewhere. Oh, Razor, you can dongle my ass. All right, I'm gonna try this with Treypang too, because if there's any game I have that's gonna let me know if my mouse is working well, it's probably gonna be this one. So let's see what happens. All right, so far it feels pretty good. The other thing is when you press the DPI button, it doesn't pop up on the screen. You just gotta kind of feel it out. That's insane. We'll go with this one. All right, I wonder though, does that other button make it slow down? It does. Okay, so that button on the side, you can make, you can press, and it does slow it down a little bit. Let's test it with the higher DPI. It's pretty insane, really fat, yeah, it does slow it down. Alright, let's go to the combat simulator. Alright, well, let's see how this goes. I like it. Well, that went pretty well. Felt pretty good. Let me put this dongle in there and uh, let's see if that works. I hope it does. It's working. It's wireless and it's working. I really like that you don't have to put batteries in this thing, that it just charges. I don't really have any complaints with this mouse, at least not yet. So far, so good. Also in the settings here, you can go up here and you can go to firmware and you can look for updates for these devices too so it looks like there is an update for this thing so let's download it this utility will check the firmware and update your mouse if necessary well that sounds pretty good to me let's hit next all right select the device to update this mouse is technically all three of these i guess it's currently plugged in so i'll do this switch the mouse off connect the mouse to your pc with the supplied usb cable it is off it's connected with the cable let's hit update dynamic lighting ready device detected and i didn't get to read what the rest of that said update successful so we can hit next update successful your device has been updated to the latest firmware okay there is probably nothing else i can show you about this mouse and this video is probably already long enough so i guess that's about it again that was a look at the razor basilisk v3 pro and so far i think this is a pretty cool mouse it's probably a lot better than the 20 dollar one i got before and it does it does so much stuff i'm sure there's some people out there that will you probably use almost every little piece of software that came with this either way it's a nice mouse i like that it has rgb i like that it has different ways of connecting it i really like that i can just plug it in and use it with a cable if i want to which kind of defeats the reason of getting the wireless mouse for me but hey the options are there and i like that well i guess that about does it for this video hopefully it was helpful and it it showed you what you were looking for i i tried my best to show as much as i could if you did watch this video i appreciate it very much thank you and maybe i'll see you around on the internet again someday later